Reachable God, written by Ben Sion Spitz, narrated by Jennifer Cahen. Siggy awoke to pain. Pain in his ribs, pain in his arms, pain in his legs, and especially pain in his buttocks. He found himself in a tangle of wooden beams radiating outward from him, as if he were a giant dove in a nest of acacia wood. Siggy jumped to his teenage feet and gathered the broken tower pieces, strewn wood, and assorted tools. He looked at the nearby tabernacle on the Moabite plain. He would start again. He would make the base stronger, he thought. Siggy dug deeper holes to anchor his support beams. He hastily hammered wooden planks together. He combed back a dark, unruly curl of hair that kept obscuring his view. He completed one level of his structure— He swung on the horizontal beams, confirming their sturdiness. He climbed up the next structure, stood on the planks, and nailed the next level of his structure together. Siggy, what are you doing? Patey, the elder, asked from the ground below. I'm fulfilling my destiny. I'm getting closer to God. How's that? Isn't it obvious? The tabernacle is the closest we can get to God on earth, but God is a Above. We're supposed to get as close as we can to God, so that's what I'm doing. Siggy continued hammering. You're building a tower to get closer to God. Yeah. You want to join me? Uh, how many times have you tried this already? Patey looked at the strewn remains of previous towers. Four or five times, but I'm getting better each try. I'm learning a lot every time the tower collapses. It doesn't dissuade me. This is my destiny, and I am determined. It's my life's mission, and I will accomplish it. Siggy, you know, the last people who built a tower to the heavens, uh, they didn't do so good. I know, but they were doing it for the wrong reasons. I don't want to fight God. I want to get close to him, as Moses taught us. I will get close to God and share the closeness with everyone on the ground below. That's a noble sentiment, Siggy, but I think you're going about it the wrong way. How can that be? God is above. I need to get to God. That's where I'm going, Siggy pointed up. I don't know why no one thought of this beforehand. Siggy combed back his curl and continued hammering. Siggy, please come down so we can converse normally. I don't want to waste any time, Siggy hammered. Every moment is precious. It's another instant I can be closer to God. Siggy, listen to me. You're going the wrong way. What do you mean? Descend, and I will explain. Siggy blew air out of his mouth, momentarily flipping up his curl of hair. Okay, I'm coming down. He climbed down the rickety wooden tower. It is true that God is above. Petey explained. But he is also here, below. I don't understand. Moses climbed up Mount Sinai to spend 40 days and 40 nights with God. He climbed to the very top. He didn't get together somewhere on the slope of the mountain. I too need to build my tower and climb as high as I can. Moses on Mount Sinai was a very unique event with a special closeness between God and Moses and the delivery of our Torah. That is not an event that can ever be replicated in that fashion. But God is amongst us here and now, on the ground. The ground that you are standing on contains God's presence. God? It's right here? Right now, right where I'm standing? Absolutely. We find and connect with God through our actions, by studying and following his laws. It is not only a matter of physical proximity. Thank you, Peitai. This makes my job so much easier. I'm glad to be of service. Peitai smiled and strode on. A few steps away, he heard a furious noise behind him. He turned and saw Siggy digging unenthusiastically. He walked back to Siggy and the rapidly expanding pit. What are you doing? Getting closer to God, just like you told me. What? 
You just said he's here, right here where I was standing. Petey's mouth opened, but no words came out. Siggy continued digging. Petey sat down cross-legged on the Moabite plain within sight of the tabernacle walls and took a deep breath. Siggy, you misunderstood. God cannot be reached merely by building a tower or digging a hole or crossing the sea. God is everywhere. He is all around us. You must find him through your actions, through study, through prayer. If you follow the instruction of Moses, the laws, the statutes, the commandments, then you will find God. You will feel him in your heart, in your mind. You will be with him and he will be with you. That is the way to go about it. Not by building ships to cross the sea. Siggy looked up from his digging. I'm sorry, Petey. I wasn't paying attention. Did you say I should build a ship to reach God? This has been Reachable God, written by Ben Sion Spitz, narrated by Jennifer Cahen.